Stefan, can I say, stay with you? Talking to people who are doing these cloud exercises from a security point of view, some of them have described to me a situation where they are confronted with a control panel uh, for their cloud service, and there are hundreds of different tick boxes and options, and I think they're worried that ticking the wrong option will leave them open in some way. It sounded like a bit of a nightmare to me. Is that experience still common? Have you seen that? Is that getting better? No, it's absolutely true. And I think there are some, some good data to back this up that uh, I think 97% of all the breaches in the cloud are due to misconfigurations mm -hmm. in some shape or form or maybe uh, unpatched or unmanaged vulnerabilities. Yeah. So I think it's a challenge. Everything's moving really fast and, and you have all these possible options in this great dynamic world of cloud, but you also need to manage them in, in the right way. Yeah. And as Kevin also talked about a bit, how do you get the governance in place for doing that? Because maybe you have a, a DevOps team that is, is working uh, really, really fast. And how do you make sure you can continue to enable them to work fast yeah. to support your business, but at the same time, not lose the governance and control on what's really happening in the cloud environments? Yeah. Because there are a lot of knobs, <laughs> yeah. obviously, you can, you can tweak them. A lot of knobs you can tweak. And Stefan, just to be clear, it, it, you know, in terms of um, security providers like Orange Cyber Defense and others, is that something you might build, you can help with navigating those different options? Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think, you know, um, it's always good to understand where you are. And, and, and it's, uh, that's kind of a good, good starting point of any journey. Know where you are and know where you want to go. Mm. So um, we tend to recommend, if you haven't done it before, do some kind of external assessments on, on your, your cloud security capabilities. Mm -hmm. uh, it covers not only technology, obviously, but also people and processes. Yeah, yeah. So, so making sure you have a good comprehensive view on that, I think it's a, it's a good starting point. And then obviously we can also help with implementing technologies, man managed services and, and stuff around that. But it's really about, once you understand the capabilities that you have as a customer, then maybe you'll also understand the gaps. And I think that's our, our, our task to try and help our customers filling those gaps.